Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In a recent video up here in my bathroom, I talked about my six favorite Holy Grail skincare products. I opened up my medicine chest to show them to you and you guys wanted a tour of everything else that was in there because out of all this, I only mentioned five or six products and there are even a bunch that aren't in here that I keep over in my mini fridge. And so a lot of you wanted a tour of my medicine chest as well as my mini fridge. So that's what I'm gonna do for you today. I'm just gonna go over it briefly to tell you what it is, why it's in here, how often I use it. Uh, because you know, I get a lot of skincare and PR. They might be in here for a minute. They might be in here for a month. They might be in here forever. You just never know what you're gonna find in the PR packages. But for those of you who are curious about which of these things goes into my skincare routine. I'll link my skincare video right up here so you can take a look at that. I use about three or four products in the morning, three or four products at night. Certainly not the, you know, I don't know what this would be, 25 or so products that are in here plus the mini fridge. So in the meantime, I'm gonna bring the camera closer so you can see what these look like and we'll walk through what's in here and then we'll walk through what's in my mini fridge. Let's start over in this corner. This is my melatonin. This helps me sleep. These are my Lash and Brow Growth Serums. The gold one is Babe Lash. That helps my brows grow in fuller. This is Revital Lash in the silver. That helps my lashes grow in more full. And back in the back is my little face shaver. Can't remember his name right now. I'll put names to everything and links to everything in the information box below the video. Just in case I don't get the name right, you can double check the name down there. It'll also have links for shopping if you wanted to buy anything. This is from Derma E. This was just sent in PR. This is their eczema relief cream. I'm trying this on my neck because as you know, I have the a uh, super sensitive neck. This is the Ordinary Azelaic Acid. It's 10% suspension. I use that on my chest to get rid of the redness there. This is Aquaphor Healing Ointment. I keep this for chapped lips in the winter, chapped you know, cuticles, things like that. It's really greasy, really emollient. These are my alpha hydroxy acid peels. This one is the Ordinary 30% AHA and 2% BHA peel. This one is a new one from Versed. I just got this in PR. This is the Doctor's Visit Instant Resurfacing Mask. I used this one once already. Didn't love it. This is the one I've been using for years, the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial, 25% AHA and 2% BHA resurfacing mask. There, you leave it on for 10 minutes, you rinse it off. Um, I like this one the best. This one's a little bit more aggressive. This one's good for its sensitive skin. And if you have super sensitive skin, I'd say the Versed is pretty good. Then this is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I've never actually purchased this product. This was sent to me in PR, but I like it. And I like the um, Estee Lauder mask that has this in it. And so I like those. It's like their power foil mask. I use it from time to time. It's not a regular feature in my skincare. It's very expensive. I never feel like I should recommend it to you because I'm not sure it's really doing anything, but I like how it feels. And I thought, well, they sent it. I might as well use it up. This is my Colleen Rothschild Smooth and Shine Hair Serum. I love this guy. I run that through my hair every day and it keeps my hair not frizzy and looking good. There's my deodorant. I wear a secret solid. This is the green tea scent. Uh, over here, these are a couple of moisturizers and I like the ingredients in both of these. They both have hyaluronic acid. Um, and I feel like, like this one has a peptide. I feel like this one might have either niacinamide or cinnamides, but I like the ingredients in both of those. So those are nice moisturizers. This is my Hair Max Hair Growth Serum. I'm trying this instead of Minoxidil. You know, I use that Hair Max Laser Band 82 to regrow like my, you know, menopausal hair loss. So I've been trying that lately. We'll let you know how it goes. This is my CeraVe Skin Renewing Gel Oil. This has ceramides and I really like this one for like the deep dark of winter when your skin is super dry. This is really greasy. I only use it at night. I've got a little sample bottle here of SK2 Facial Essence. I'm not a true believer in the SK2 thing with the Patera. That's another like the lactobacillus ferment uh, kind of thing, like made like a fermented yeast kind of thing. Um, I got this as a free sample somewhere. I use it from time to time. I was gonna really use it and see if it made a difference in my skin and I did for a bit, but you know, I used about 
that much of it. I couldn't see that it was really doing anything, so I still have it. I'd like to just use it up just because I know it's expensive. Um, this is my Ole Regenerous Night Recovery Cream. This is one of my uh, things that's in my skincare routine. That's the last step in my skincare routine. I love this guy because of the ingredients, niacinamide, peptides, hyaluronic acid, green tea. This is the It Confidence in a Gel Lotion. I purchased this uh, maybe six months ago or so in the previous Sephora sale. I like that one. It's a lightweight moisturizer that contains ceramides, so that's a good one. Here's my Curology. This is how I get my tretinoin, and uh, this is a prescription, so it has my acne medicine, clindamycin. It has my tretinoin, which is retin-A, the strongest anti-aging thing that you can get in there, and it also has azelaic acid all in one little bottle. So anyway, I'm, I'm a Curology ambassador. This video is not sponsored by them, though, but I will put a link in the info box in case you ever wanted to try Curology. The link is always there. I guess we're getting more into my holy grail skincare right here, uh, although some of it is over in the mini fridge. So this is my CeraVe PM facial lotion. I use this every single morning. It says PM, which just means it doesn't have sunscreen in it. Of course, I use a separate sunscreen, which here they all are up here. Uh, but this is great, niacinamide, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, really good lightweight lotion. Next over here is the MyShell Renew Remarkable Renewal Serum. This is their retinaldehyde serum. And what's right behind it is the May Love Moonlight Retinol Super Serum. This is another retinaldehyde serum. I actually have three different retinaldehyde products. Um, this one just came out, but then it sold out immediately and it won't be available until like February again when they restock. But this is a really good one. I love this one. But I was looking for something else to recommend to those of you who couldn't get that. And in the meantime, I found that the Michelle had one. And this is really nice. I've been using this for about two weeks now just to test it out for you guys. I do like it. Um, and it's got a really good price point. My other retinaldehyde serum is in my mini fridge, so I'll show you that in a minute. But anyway, just wanted to let you guys know about that if you had tried to get the May Love and couldn't get it. Then this over here is May Love the Hydrator. This is their resveratrol serum, and that's an, another antioxidant, and I love that. Here is my Timeless Matrixyl Synth 6. I actually buy it in the bigger bottle, then I fill up this little bottle, and that way I can more keep track of how often I'm using it. You guys know that I use a lot of Timeless products in my skincare routine, and I just wanted to mention uh, that Timeless, you know, I've always had this Timeless code HF5OFF for $5 off your order. Well, Timeless just discontinued my code about uh, two or three weeks ago, and they are still offering the discount for my viewers, so don't worry, you can still get the discount, but you can't use the code anymore. Now you have to use the link below my video, so look for the link down below. Your discount will be automatically applied at checkout, so use that link now instead of the old HF5OFF code. And then hiding behind there is another Versed product. This is their Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. This has green tea in it, and I use that that from time to time. It's a really lightweight lotion. I really like that one. Then the third shelf up here, this is mainly my sunscreens. So let's start over here in this corner. I've got a couple of Neutrogena ones, the Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen 100 Plus. This is a chemical sunscreen. I don't use it that often, but I do like to keep it on hand for if I'm gonna go out paddle boarding or bike riding and I want like super high SPF protection, that's the one that I'll put on. Um, then this is my Holy Grail sunscreen that I use every day. It's the Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. That's my Holy Grail every day. I also have the Neutrogena Sport Face Lotion. That's an SPF 70, also mainly just for if I'm doing like sporty type stuff. Then next to the Elta MD is my Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense Lotion. This one I mix. 25% of this and 75% of the Elta MD, and that's my daily sunscreen. Then when I'm testing foundation, sometimes I'll use this guy. This is La Roche-Posay Anthelios Daily Antioxidant Serum with Sunscreen. That's an SPF 50. That's a chemical sunscreen, but I do like that one. It's very lightweight and it absorbs quickly. Uh, what it was in front of there is the Derma E Essentials Sun Protection Mineral Powder SPF 30. Mineral powder is a great way to top up your sunscreen. So it has this little brush 
and you just apply it later in the day. And what's hiding in the back there? Uh, Super Goop Setting Mist. Um, these sunscreen setting mists, I don't use them. I don't even know. I mean, this is obviously a little, is a little sample. I could just toss that. Goodbye. Then I have the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen. This is a tinted sunscreen, SPF 30. That's a really good one. On me, the finish on this is super shiny, but if you have dry skin, the finish on that is much, much better. Oh, wow, why do I always still have this? I was just trying to use this up. I had bought this at my hair salon one time, Colin SPF um, 60. I think it's an all mineral sunscreen, I wanna say, yeah. I didn't like it, but it was expensive and I wanted to use it up, so I had just been using it like on my chest and the backs of my hands. This is another one of my Holy Grail sunscreens. It's the Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Face SPF 50 BB Cream in the medium to tan skin. This is almost empty. I just ordered another one of these. This is another Holy Grail sunscreen. This is my Make Prem UV Defense Me Blu-ray Sun Fluid. That is an awesome one. I tend to use these guys on my face and my neck, and then I use this on my chest and the backs of my hands every day. Then this is a newer sunscreen that I really like. This is the Olay Regenerist Mineral Sunscreen. This is an SPF 30, and it's really nice and lightweight. My goodness, then here's my face self-tanner that I use. It's the Kula Sunless Tan anti-aging face serum. I really like this, so I use that in the summer when I'm tanning my face. What do we have back here? Oh my gosh, this is so old. I should probably throw that one out. But look, I have a brand new one right behind it, and as if the SPF 100 wasn't enough, Another Neutrogena, this is their Age Face Shield SPF 110. I just like to keep these, you know, hugely high SPFs on hand. I take them with me when I go on vacation and I'm gonna be out doing a water sport or biking or whatever and just can't get out of the sun. So that's that. Um, this is Arnica. I have this on hand for if I'm going to have a procedure done, which I'm not really, you know, I haven't had anything done in over a year, mainly because of COVID. But anyway, if you're going to have a procedure done, you can take these beforehand to help with the bruising. This is my hormone replacement therapy. There's my z -Quil. That helps me sleep as well every night. I do like a double whammy of a melatonin and a z -Quil. This is where I keep some of my skincare, so I wanted to show you this as well. This is down on the counter. I got this little caddy at Target. I love it because it's modular and it comes apart. I don't know if they still have it. If they do, I'll link it below. So so first in here is my Retain Eye Drops, and I love how this box fits perfectly in here. This is the best eye drops if you have dry eye. They are fantastic. So I keep them here because I use those, oh, twice a day at least. And then this is the Retain Nighttime Gel, so I use that at night if my eyes are feeling particularly dry. This is my Everyday Body Sunscreen, so that's right there where I can put it on every day. Uh, this Super Goop's in here because I just bought this in the Sephora sale and I need to try it. So this is in my on deck, try it on my face, and I'll let you know how that is. Even though I think the color's a little bit light, I was going to return it and exchange it for a different color, but puppy chewed the box, so I can't return it. Um, then over here is my La Roche-Posay Cicaplast B5 Balm. This is what I use on my neck to keep it from getting overly sensitized. This is awesome if you have like a rash or super sensitivity from Retin-A or too much um, alpha hydroxy acid use. You can put that on. It helps to soothe your skin really well. Um, this is my Timeless Squalane. Um, this is not really an oil, but kind of an oil. I think of it as like a, a dry oil. And I keep this here because I don't really use it that often, but in the dead of winter, my, when my skin's really dry, I'll put a drop or two of this into my moisturizer at night, and that really helps to lock the moisture in. And then this is the La Roche-Posay Lipicar Eczema Soothing Relief Cream. This is also for my neck, so I use the B5 Balm on my neck at night. I use this one on my neck during the day. Both too greasy for my face, I think. This is the Isentree Green Tea Toner. I'm almost out of this. Um, I do have a new one of these purchased. This is the toner that I use at night after I wash my face. And uh, you can also use this with your LED mask if you think that green tea and LED are gonna do something together, which I'm not sure. I think the jury's still a little bit out on there. This is my CeraVe moisturizing cream. You can use this on your face if you have super dry skin. I use it on my body. And this is my New Face gel primer. This is out all the time because I use my New Face every second or third day. This is the little brush that I apply it with. This is my little mini spatula for getting the end of a bottle, you know, the, the last dregs of things out of a container. This is my Alpha Skincare 
Renewal Body Lotion. This is the best body cream for anti-aging. So uh, it really turns back the hands of time on your body skin and it keeps away the crepey skin and reduces wrinkles and it's super um, emollient and hydrating and I love it. Um, this is just a bottle of good old rubbing alcohol. I keep it out here for applying my uh, HRT patch. I give it a little swipe with isopropyl alcohol first so that it sticks on where I put it. And then this is my other body lotion, the Olay Quench Ultra Moisture with Shea Butter. I love this because it also contains niacinamide. All right, so let's take a look and see what's in my mini fridge. In the door here is my different gel. I have a brand new tube of this. I just finished like a little mini tube. I'm trying to use this to um, acclimate my neck to a stronger retinoid. Uh, so that I can get up to using my retina on my neck. So I only use this about once a week or less and just on my neck. What I tend to keep in here are antioxidants and things that degrade with exposure to light and air. So keeping them cooler and in a little dark fridge helps them to last longer. So I keep my timeless vitamin C serum in here. I keep all my vitamin C serums in here. Uh, so there's the timeless and where is the, uh, where's my may love? It should be in there somewhere. Oh, it's hiding way in the back. All right. I also keep my lactic acid in there. I mean, I don't know. I really don't have a reason for keeping that in there. I feel like the lactic acids are shelf stable and everything, but I keep that in there anyway, just because these are my three morning serums. So I just grab them all out together. Then next is my Timeless CoQ10. This is another antioxidant. So I put that on in the morning and I like it when it's nice and cold, especially in the summer. So this is the little bottle that I fill up from the bigger bottle in the back. So you can see the bigger bottle there. And then this is the Inky List Lactic Acid. This doesn't really need to be in there either. What I'm thinking is that actually those retinaldehyde serums, the Maylove and the Michelle should actually be in here and the lactic acids shouldn't be. So now that you're making me think about what I'm doing, I think I'll take these two out and swap the other two in because retinaldehyde is notoriously unstable. And so that should definitely be in there. So I'm going to put those two in. Here's the other retinaldehyde. This is the Aven Retrinal 0.1. This is the Derma E. Uh, vitamin C bright eyes. These are little gel eye patches. I like to keep them in there so that if I, if my eyes are feeling tired, I can put those on and they're nice and cool as well as having some great ingredients. Then I do keep my generic tube of tretinoin in here just because I don't use it that much and it takes a long time to go through this because I really just use it on the backs of my hands and my chest and maybe once a month on my neck or so. So that's in there. And then there's my May Love the Glow Maker. That's my other vitamin C serum that I like. And hey, where's my Dr. Brenner's? My Dr. Brenner's vitamin C serum should be in there, but I don't see it. And then I also keep my face masks in here for when I'm feeling like doing a face mask, I like them to be nice and cold. Uh, so this is my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Mask. I love the mask because it's the power foil mask. So it's got like a foil overlay, so it keeps the mask really moist. And then this is my other favorite moisturizing mask. It's the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Deep Moisture Water Mask. So that is everything that I keep packed in to my mini fridge. Let's see, rearrange things in here. Okay, there we go. All right, you guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell while you're down there. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.